All right, Twitch. Uh, and I suppose people who are watching this on YouTube as well. Welcome back to the prison. This is episode two. Uh, I don't have any people yet, but uh, Twitch chat, you guys have the ability to influence this prison. Nobody knew that before you came here, uh, but you do. You have the ability to influence this prison. You can use the PAC command in the chat, and you'll get three new commands that are specific to just this game, just this season. Uh, they are hands off, uh, intake, and lockdown. These are three things that you can uh, redeem in the stream store, provided, of course, you have enough pieces to do it. If you're new here, you don't have enough pieces, uh, it's the stream currency. You're earning them as you watch. If you're not a sub, you're getting them one, one piece every minute. If you are a sub, uh, you're getting them at two pieces per minute. Uh, and you can use those pieces to interact with the stream in a whole bunch of different ways, one of which um, is actually earning real Steam games. Uh, you, can, you can buy real games on Steam using your pieces that you earn in this stream. Yeah, and, and every stream that I have on Twitch, period. Uh, it's a pretty cool system. I've had it in place for um, ever, ever since like three days after making partner, I put that in place. It's been really nice. But you guys can use those pieces to interact with the stream. So what does that mean? Hands off. If you claim hands off, it has a one hour cooldown. If you claim hands off, cost 300 pieces for all of these commands, by the way. Um, you will force me to go like this for 15 seconds, no matter what is happening on the stream. Probably the best to use this one in a dire situation with consequences if I don't get something done. I will do this for 15 seconds. I will not touch the keyboard or the mouse, and whatever happens in that 15 seconds happens, and I can't do anything about it. Um, that You can do that once per hour, Twitch chat. Um, once real world hour. Uh, the second one is intake. Uh, it has a two hour real world, two hour cooldown. Um, and that will force me, no matter how many prisoners I have in the prison at this time, I must take five new prisoners on the next opportunity. I must intake five. Um, so that's that. Uh, the third one is lockdown. It's probably the most consequential in a, if used appropriately, which is why it has a three hour real world cooldown. Uh, but you can prompt at any time you'd like to. I must put the prison in a, uh, in lockdown for three hours, in game three hours. I must have them in lockdown for three hours. So if they're really pissed off and they're really fighting and it's like they really need food or they really need pleasure time or whatever it is and it's just like, I wanna give them this, but oh no, Twitch chat says I have to lock them down. So there it goes, no matter how high the temperature is, uh, you can cause me to do a lockdown in the prison just by doing the command. If you happen to see anything fly into the screen uh, or any sound effects that happened like that, like that <laughs> that would be the intake command which i am doing eight uh i am doing eight uh and i'm gonna do probably ten but uh or maybe what we can do is uh if you claim it and i'm already doing it then i have to add five maybe that's what we're gonna do i like that let's do that so we'll add five to what we were going to do i was going to do eight now I have to do 13. Okay, that sounds great. We'll do that. Uh, okay, so if you happen to see that, that's somebody claiming uh, intake uh, for me. So there you go. I have to build a yard to satisfy this grant, so let's get started. Uh, rooms, yard, here we go. We'll just do this really quick. These guys have no way of getting into this yard, come to find out. So we're going to need to give them a way in as well. And let's just put a quick door here for now. I think that's probably okay for now. Okay, so that takes care of that grant. We have some extra money now. We can work with it. We need two offices. Luckily, I have that already. Just need to go to rooms, office. I can never find what I want here. It sucks. Feels real bad, man. There's two offices. Unlock finance through bureaucracy. So, finance. Let's get that. And we need to hire an accountant, which we'll do as soon as we have... Um, you know, finance. Done. Mr. Periwinkle, sitting here in his office. Look at him. Oh, I can sack him now. Isn't that nice? Tool tips about reoffending chance. Uh, interesting. So I don't know anything about these. Um, and my, it looks like my face is just a little bit over top of that tool tip. So I might move my camera. but Because um, I think this is the default place where everything always appears. Right there behind my head. Which is not necessarily the best place for this. But... I, they still, to this day, have not made that tooltip pop up where your mouse is when you click. It is a quality of life thing I wish they would have done for years, and they just don't look. Doesn't look like I'm ever gonna get it. So it is what it is. Fun. Uh, this shower 
doesn't need to be here anymore. We already satisfied this requirement. So actually, uh, rather than doing that, let's just uh, demolish this. Get rid of these walls. Uh, get rid of this object as well. Speed the time up a bit here. We have 15 hours until we get um, 13 prisoners. So I think I can handle 13 prisoners. I think. Not with two guards. Maybe with two guards. It, the thing is, like, I, I don't know how they're going to do the escapes that they have the access to. Like, they have access to a lot of escapes. And then there's this lockless door just sitting over here doing nothing. Maybe we can uh, figure out what else we need to do for the prison. So, they need food. We got that. They need to be able to go to the toilet. They're going to have that. They're going to need to shower, which we're going to do right now. Uh, materials. And brick wall. I want to do it like, like here. Like, like this. I think that's how I want it. And then I'm gonna go, yeah. And then the, the water pipe will go through here like this. Uh, and then around. And really, this whole thing needs to be piped up because showers are going all over this thing. So uh, then we're going to do objects. We'll need our shower heads. And we'll put the shower heads like this. Uh, I think we'll just do it all the way around. It's not a big deal. Not in front of the door, but then we will put them over here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so we'll have showers, lots and lots of showers for them to use right here. We're gonna need drains. I think we'll be okay, uh, cost-wise, if we just put a drain there. Uh, no, we won't because the outside bit here. Yeah. All right. Well, I kind of screwed myself there, didn't I? Fine. We'll just put them. Uh, this should be fine, actually. We don't need them in the middle here. We just need it. To, we just need to prevent it from escaping. Uh, remember also we ha uh, everything we buy has to come on a truck they can't just like will it into existence like they sometimes can so remember how sometimes when you get your workman caught like in a in a trap and you put a door in and all of a sudden bam your workman has it and they can like put the door in and get out that can't happen now that door has to come in on a truck so we're gonna get lots of trucks and that's gonna be um, uh, a big pain in the ass probably I don't know, I might regret doing that, but we're gonna make it work. Whatever it takes, we're gonna make it work. Let's give these guys hot water. Tends to make them in a better mood. Go like that, give them hot water. I'm sure they'll like me better for that, won't they? I'm sure they'll like it better. Cool, we have benches, we have beds. Disney was really nice. There's one thing that Disney does really well. Disney does live shows really well like really really well I thought like they I I felt like uh oh oh no staff needs hang on hang on hey we're, we're getting way off topic staff needs totally forgot okay fine uh staff needs we need a staff room pronto for these guys they are getting pissed off my cook is already quitting this is unacceptable <laughs> My cook is already mad. All right. Uh, let's give them a staff room. Maybe I don't have any plans, like no preconceived plans for this prison. So I'm just going to do it as organically as I can. I have 18 grand. I can't spend a whole lot of money on this, but let's give them like a little room here for now. Give them this little room and we'll give them staff door. Uh, let's say like here. You can come down here. And apparently that's not good enough for this guy, so we'll put a door there just because. Okay. And then it has to come in on a truck, and then the cook is going to get pissed off. This one... I can't see what this one's thinking. This one's on break. But I can't see... Oh, I'm in the... That's because I'm in the room menu. Yeah, so this guy... I need psychology in order to see it, because, you know, that's the way the game works. Meanwhile, we have an hour until finance, so that's cool. Uh, can we get I think we need security. I think we need security. Prison policy would be okay. I mean, all of these things. We need all of them. And there's some extra ones. 
There's some extra ones that we didn't have before. Um, prisoner sorting being one. A snitch is murdered again? Gangs are killing each other again? Well, here is an automatic solution for you. Use a CT CCTV camera to sort out a certain type of inmate and categorize them as a proper one. Uh, combined with zoning and regime, you can minimize or eliminate the chance that they may meet the rest uh, Meet the rest of prisoners. Nice. Prisoner sorting, a new thing. Wonderful, we'll use that. Hitman. Uh, there's also uh, prisoner evaluation as well. Major mission of the prison is to lower prisoners' reoffending rate chance. Evaluating them timely can help you keep attention. Uh huh, uh huh. Boiling point. Yeah, you can see the boiling point. Okay, so all that stuff. Uh, and reoffending chance of every prisoner and measurable financial to get measurable financial gains. So we can see what each prisoner's boiling point is, and like, yeah, like all this new information we're gonna have is is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna like it a lot. I think. Disney as an adult, probably more enjoyable with a kid. Very true. I think my favorite parts of my Disney trip was, um, like seeing the look on, on my son's face when certain things happened, like certain things fly out. Like they had this, they had this, um, Finding Nemo puppet show kind of thing, like on a stage. And like, I was disappointed by only one aspect of it. And that show, I don't want to spoil it for you. But let's just say, they didn't mention at all Dory's ability. They didn't mention Dory's ability to speak whale at all. They completely overlooked that. And I was like, that's like my favorite part of the whole thing. Unbelievable. My favorite part of the whole thing. But anyway. So there's hands off. You guys figured out what that's all about. I have to take my hands off the keyboard and mouse for 15 seconds. And uh, whatever happens during that 15 seconds happens. You can do that once per hour. There's an hour long cooldown on that, so. Uh, good for that. So, uh, staff needs. Let's get the staff room sorted out. Um, they're gonna need a place to eat. Uh, a better place to eat. Let's give them a couple of chairs. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do a wide sofa here. Ha, ha, ha. Then we'll do a drink machine here. Followed by the serving table. Nope, can't do that. Serving table there. Followed by drink machine uh, here, let's say. Cool. It's a little crowded. Let's put it over here. Uh, then what else? Nah, let's not put it over there. Let's not do it at all. Nah, I probably have to do it though, don't I? Let's put it there. Uh, let's see. What about uh, more sofas? They like sofas. They really do like their sofas. And uh, giving them a television would not be a bad idea either. But they also like to play pool. Let's give them a pool table. Let's give them a pool table. Let's go. Like, there's so many things to give these guys. They're so needy. Let's go like that. Why not? Right next to the... Yeah, so you can take a pool cue to the head. Perfect. Exactly what I want. Uh, they're going to need bathrooms as well. Dedicated bathrooms! Dedicated bathrooms. So many things to reconsider that I wasn't considering before. Um, how do we want to build these bathrooms, though? Planning. Uh, we'll go with walls. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, this will be a bathroom stall. So toilet, space, door... So like that then, right? So toilet, space, door. I like it. Toilet, space, door. Toilet, space, door. It's gonna have to be these little bits. Uh, maybe toilet, space, door. Here as well. That's not bad. We could do two rows of it. Uh, it needs to be this way though. So I need to extend this by one. Uh, it's not a bad. Idea. It's not really that bad of an idea to do that though. We could totally extend this by one if we wanted to. What about? Uh, do I want to put this indoors, though? Not really. Not really. But extending this by one means... Uh, 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 Alright, let's do this. Let's, let's extend it by one. Let's do it. Um, let's extend it by one. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. So, we'll have the brick building ends up being like this. Definitely didn't waste it. Yeah, it's once per hour, so, like, if I have to get staff needs and everyone's getting pissed off for 15 seconds, I can't build it. <laughs> you get the best of- I'm not trying to, like, sabotage myself, but you get the best effect on that if you happen to notice that I'm in, like, three times time acceleration. <laughs> then it's like, oh shit! And, like, three times speed. You get the best effect by doing it then, but that's okay. As you get. I'm not trying to sabotage myself, I just want everyone to have fun. <laughs> that's one way to do it. 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this area. I think maybe this could be storage. Of course. Why wouldn't it be storage? This is a perfect spot for storage. It's right next to everything. It's right next to everything wonderful. It's a perfect spot for storage. We're going to do storage right here. And we'll do a staff door there. Perfect. That will be our storage area. And we'll have things stored there. Uh, because that's what you do in storage areas. There you go. See, I'm very smart. Uh, let's go objects. Toilets. For our staff. The annoying toilet over underneath the light thing. I don't like how that happens ever, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go brick wall there, 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 there. I know I don't need them to have their own private places, but mm, I just like it. I just, I just like it that way, okay. It's just the thing I'm going to do. And you can't stop me. You can't stop me. Uh, I don't have any commands in chat that says, don't do that thing. <laughs> so, you can delay me, but you can't stop me. Alright, by the way, if anyone has any uh, ideas for, like, new things that we could incorporate into this, in terms of, like, your com the commands in chat and, like, ways you can interact and stuff, um, like, if anyone has any new ways of doing that, um, let me know in Discord. If you're not part of Discord, then of course you have to join Discord to, to like, tell me. But, um, it, it, eh. can if you want. Let's give him another sofa. These guys like their sofas, right next to the drink machine. This is a a small, pretty small area here, so it's fine. Mike, thank you so much for gifting the sub to Chug. Welcome to the stream, Chuke. Enjoy uh, ad-free viewing for the next 30 days, as well as access to all of our emotes you can use universally through all of Twitch. Uh, and I want more, but, you know, Twitch is going to limit me how many I can have, so... I actually have a spare spot, though. I do need to fill it. I'm working on a, I'm working on a, a not-so-super-secret emote to fill that. Uh, rooms. Storage. Here. Go not staff. Put things in here for storage and stuff. Do storage things. Also, this is uh, not uh, secure at all. So there's that. Not secure. Okay, got sinks work good. Radiator works good. I can't check temps because I don't have the ability to look at that yet. Yet, bureaucracy finance is done. I need to hire an accountant. Staff, accountant, and. You're good. There's our grant money. Five grand more money. So, uh, we are currently making 175 a day. I need to keep us in the black. We have uh, failure conditions are definitely on. I don't think I can make... I don't think I can get this all the way over there. I'm going to try, but I don't think I can get it there. I don't think it'll reach. Um, I was kind of hoping for lakes. Like, to have like little lakes in the middle to make me build around them, but... Um, instead, they're, like, just on the edges, which I guess are kind of annoying because I can't, like, lock that down. I'm going to have to put the wall around it, but it's not that annoying. I was kind of hoping for the lakes to be a little annoying. An Alt F4 command? No. No, I'm not going to do an Alt F4 command. Uh, uh, you know, what else? Okay, so we need, we need plumbing over here. Uh, this looks okay. It's right next to everything, so that's easy. I planned that entirely like that the whole time. That's exactly what I was thinking the entire time, of course. Obviously, it's the best way to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to fail. We're not going to do failure condition. We have failure conditions on, but failure is not an option. Okay. Uh, remember, we also have um, contraband detectors, so they're going to use a lot more power. The metal detector, it says metal detector, but it's actually a contraband detector. It's going to use more power. So we have to keep be mindful of that uh, when it comes time for our like power stuff to work. Uh, do we want contraband detectors now? Is it necessary to have it now? We want a staff door here to, to lock this area down. I know that much. Also, could probably do with another cook, since this one is on break pissed off. 
This one's pissed off too. Both my cooks. This is bad. Oh, you know what else is bad? This not being staff only. Staff room. Staff room. I can't mark this as uh, staff only yet because I don't have... Uh, what do I need for that? Deployment, right? Yes. I think I need deployment. This is not staff only, so they're not going to use it, but they will hopefully use this. Failed. Bin. There's no bin in the staff room. That is a requirement for staff rooms now is a bin. I was not aware of this, but either way, we can put the bin right there. And everything will be fine uh, eventually. Everything will be fine. Look at all these logs we can sell. And we will be selling them because I'm going to need the money. I only have 10 grand left. Can I get rid of... This is a 350 stack. Sell object. Goodbye. Uh, I wish it would actually... I wish there was a mod. There probably is a mod that prevents me from selling on a click like that. Um, if I find it, I might add it. But for now, since it's not in there, we're going to just do it. Prevents me from just all of a sudden having a buyer. All of a sudden, we just we just have a buyer, and that's great. Uh, Kavik, thank you for the community gift sub. Very, very cool. Appreciate the gifts, guys. Clint, thank you so much, dude. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not sure what the hell is going on there, these are just people being incredibly generous and helping me to better do what I do and uh, allowing me to invest more time, energy, money into the stream by providing me their time and uh, money and energy. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. Tip my hat to all the sub gifters out there. Very, very, very generous. Um, and uh, yeah, and there's a new, there's a new um, feature on Twitch now, if you weren't familiar with it, called community gifting, where if you don't have anyone you want to gift it to necessarily, but you still want to be a sub gifter, if you still want to do that, um, which is probably the single best way to support, especially a partnered streamer, um, you can do so um, uh, to just give something to the community and that will just be a thing. And the, Twitch will decide who gets it right away. like randomly um it was just a really nice really nice little feature that they've added so um that's what kavik just did very very cool let's put a couple of benches in this yard and let's put something else how about weights i don't know if this is going to be my permanent yard or not i mean i guess so we could put cells around here and then expand the yard this way i suppose this is not a bad spot for a yard yeah all right fine we'll do it so this is walk speed tiles fast um let's do a road let's do a road like this uh three wide three wide and then we'll do like this so they'll take down all these trees but we'll have like a little road here and it'll sort of separate some of the stuff we're gonna have then we're gonna have Mm, weight benches, yeah. Let's put those on the edge of the road. Like maybe we'll put a couple like over here like this. For now, I think those four for now are probably fine. They're gonna get on cutting those trees. We'll probably end up cut. Uh, probably end up selling. Actually, I am gonna end up selling. Let's sell these right now. We'll keep those trees. We'll keep this wood, but we'll sell that wood so we have a little extra money. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I need to do. Probably a good idea to get a staff well-being initiative. Five guards without assigned duties. Ensure none of your staff are exhausted. This is a pretty easy one to do. And it gives us the money to, to hire the guards that we're going to need for these prisoners. So one, two, three. These are now five guards without any assigned duties, which is what we need. And so now we get the grant. Done. Uh, grants. Let's see what else. I mean, health and well-being, prison maintenance. This is a really takes a lot of time to get this one, and not a whole lot of money. Security procedure certification. Hire security chief. Gonna do that anyway. Hire ten guards. Unlock patrols and assign three guards to patrol routes. We get a, quite a bit of money for this. Good advance as well. Um, visitation rights is kind of expensive at the moment. Short-term investments and long-term investments. They, I think these values have been tweaked, right? 90,000? Has 90,000 been tweaked?
tweaked. I give you 10 grand now. You give me 100 grand in how long? Eight days? I mean, that's pretty good, but let's take this one and this one. So we lose 10 grand here, but we gain the 10 grand back when we do security. So we're back at the same amount of money, but in, in but in now in eight days, we'll get 100 grand. So that's cool. Also, we're going to get the extra grant in three hours. We can take another grant if we want to, but now we need to work on security stuff. So uh, normally I would just like gate this whole thing off or like wall this whole thing off. But um, like now, since they can jump fences, it doesn't really matter so much like it does but it doesn't at the same time if i do like multi-layered fences though that's probably i mean like you can they can only jump a fence they can't jump all of them right like they're not gonna jump every fence all right right <laughs> tell me tell me they're gonna jump them all aren't they they probably are let's let's do a perimeter fence for now maybe this far out just to like make sure there's something out there for the fence and then we'll do another interior fence so we'll go like um i do want to start making cells as well and i think we're gonna make the cells what does the quick cell look like it's not bad because i can always I mean, we can do the quick cell thing i don't necessarily like toilets being right next to the bathrooms but this speeds up my workflow quite a bit does this lay foundation though? I don't think so. I think you have to do that manually. I think you have to do that yourself. So if I go, well, I don't want to invest too much money in that. Let's let's keep the let's keep the holding cell for now. I don't want to go negative. We'll go this for now. Do we have security? We do. Let's get deployment, and then we'll work, start working on. Uh, Maintenance, I think we should probably start working on that. Tax relief right now, if we can afford it, would be nice. Let's go maintenance instead, though. Also, I moved my to-do list. I didn't mean to, but this thing moved. Yeah, see, it moves. We have to put it back in the corner. Go back where you were. What's this? Oh, there's yeah, the graph thing. I haven't seen that before. And then the prison grading. I haven't seen it before. I've seen it before. Okay, we are negative as far as daily cash flow goes, but in an hour we are getting our prisoners. They are going to be intaked. That's a that's a verb now. They're going to be intaked. They'll be thrown into here, and then hopefully they can't escape. Hopefully, um, let's go with another big jail door here just to provide that choke point that we want. And then, do we want to have? We probably should have at least one metal detector here. I think here. Mm, nah, nah, this is the... Re okay, so this is the problem. I need to put this here, but I need to take this door away and bring that door um, back over, like, here. So let's put the door... Uh, yeah, let's, this, is, this is bad. We need to put this over here. So, objects-wise, let's... It's a waste of money, but let's bring this uh, back to grass... And then put the road uh, on this side. Like that. Then we'll have the road like that. Intake is coming. Oh, intake is coming. I uh, need to hire 10 guards. Security chief. I need that too. Do I have enough money? 15K? I do. Do I have an office for him? I do, except it's not marked as an office. So let's go ahead and do that. Office. There you go. You got one now. Good for you. And now we can start actually getting deployment because we have one. <laughs> there you go. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Barb that fence. Ooh, barbed wire is a thing, but I don't know how it works. Ah, here we go. Barbed wire. We just, oh, so that's how it works. That's pretty cool. It's also incredibly expensive. So there's that. 200 a tile for barbed wire. Good Lord. Uh, okay, okay, we'll, we'll look at that, um, like, much later. Yeah, we'll be looking at that later. That sounds great. We'll, we'll do that. Right now, I want to see how much power this thing draws. So we're currently about halfway on this power. 
So if when these guys pull that in, I wonder how much. Oh, why are you guys coming in down there? Uh, is that where I want you? I kind of want you up here. So. Oh, we don't have reception. I'm not marking the rooms. Uh, reception, reception, reception. Where is it? I'm not marking the rooms yet, guys. I'm slacking so bad. I'm not marking the rooms. Okay, reception's here. The truck should now let them off uh, over here instead of deliveries. That should be a thing. And then they came through here. Yeah. We are going to want them searched. So let's uh, search this prisoner since we didn't do it coming in, which is stupid. Let's search that guy too. <laughs> uh, so they need to be searched. The guy had a freaking drill on him. All right, prisoner uniform ready. We're losing cash flow there. Not a big deal. We're actually positive now because we have prisoners. That's kind of the point. That's our main, our main uh, thing. Cell block one. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15 and get 40 grand. That's going to be a thing we work on first. So um, what we need is a pass capacity for 15. So I need to have, uh, I don't think I want the cells this close to the edge. But I mean, I kind of do. Kind of do, but I kind of don't. I think I want this. I want the cells over here. I think towards the middle. So if they're gonna get to the edge, they're gonna have to dig a lot. Um, let me check out the planning tool really quick here. If I, if I say that this area will end up being the cells, right? If I was to do this, just a, a quick little cell block here. Right. What would it take if I had like a two wide walkway across this bit? Could I fit cells in here? I could. I could fit a cell in here because it would be like this. Okay, let's build this. Now I also have to figure out though. So this is good for the cell, but where does it stop? It probably stops over here. So this will also be a two wide walkway and then we'll probably want uh, the cells will end up being all the way through here. So this will end up being cells, but there's gonna be a walkway here. And then on the other side of the cell, we'll share a wall here. So one, two, three wall. And then one, two, three wall. If we go two more down on this side, we have access to we can just round this path all the way over this. I'd be able to go wall. Uh, no, I need a door here. So the path actually has to be here. But I think it's all the same. The path, if the path is here, then, the, then the, the cells are still over here. One, two, three, wall. Correct, yeah. So this will end up giving me a pretty good, a pretty good prisoner capacity right here. I think we're gonna rock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock with that. Do I want everything brick? I like the look of brick, but I think I'm gonna use concrete. Except for that wall. I think this prison will have concrete for prisoner cell areas. I've done brick a lot. Oh, we have this wall here. Well, I'm gonna extend that wall anyway. We're gonna extend this wall one. So that'll be fine. That'll be all right. Cool. Deployment is now a thing. Staff only. Here, here, here. All this is staff only. Staff, get your needs met. Get your needs met. Pissed off cook who needs to wee. Let's get a couple more cooks too, because they're not. They are. They're yeah. They're gonna need to go on break and all that crap. So <laughs> let's get a couple of more if we can. All right. So we got the little storage closet here. Probably will fill up pretty quick. Garbage area is here. We don't have any door. Like, what's the point of these fences if there's no gates? What am I doing with my life? Road barrier. A sturdy road barricade that can stop even speeding trucks only closes during lockdown. So uh, one of the other things that prisoners can do for escapes is not just run through the fence, but they also, if they happen to be wandering around out here or they go to escape and they're running this way, if they happen to notice that one of these trucks are sitting here, they'll hop in the truck and try to drive away. <laughs> and they might, you know, injure or kill the driver 
in the course of doing so. Um, so, like, they'll get after it, and you can use this road barrier, which is a much more sturdier door, uh, to stop them. But this road gate uh, will not stop the speeding trucks. Um, so they'll plow right through this gate with the truck, but if you have this, then it can stop the truck. It's pretty wild, man. We're gonna go like there, and I also want another one over here. Uh, where was it? Not here. I think it was here, but now it needs to be here. Yeah, it's gonna have to be here. Run there, and then materials for the fence will come out this way. And I know they can hop fences, but at least like they have to have the materials to hop the fence. They can't just climb it. They have to have the materials to make themselves a rope so that they can do so. Uh, we do have deployment now, so let's make sure there's always at least one guard in this cell. That way they will not dig. Also, this guy, we're going to end his punishment because I don't know why he's being punished. But his needs are going to be a, a shit show if I don't do that. Um, patrols, I need that to get the grant, so let's get that. Prison policy is probably important. Um, if I have the money to do so... I'm thinking prison labor to start laundry right now. Or do we start psychology so we can see things? Cleaning is probably more important, but it just adds more staff to take care of. Micromanagement, probably important. I mean, they're all important, but I think the tax relief is what I want first. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to greatly reduce my expenses. The faster you can either make more money or reduce your expenses the better you are overall, like, complete, like, for the future. So we'll, we'll take tax relief as well. And we'll grab prison policy and, um... Let's grab cleaning. It's only... It's really cheap. We just need a maintenance guy. So, more offices, basically. Clone tool. Mm, let's just do the planner. Uh-oh. What are you doing? You fighting each other or my guards? Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you trying to escape? What is this? Seriously injured, but what are you doing? Escape attempts. You're both trying to escape. Okay. Okay, great. Well, good luck. <laughs> we do have at least some guards. Apparently we need more stationed in here. Uh, apparently we do. Regime says eat time is basically now. So hopefully they're not... They're probably kicking off because they're hungry. I actually don't have any solitary cells. Probably should look into that as well. I don't think it'd be a hard... I don't think it'd be a bad thing to, to build it off of the side of this. The only problem is I kind of wanted to use this area for another power station. Because it catches fire, it's really easy for the fire trucks to get there. So maybe we do it here off the side of this little hallway here. Maybe like this. We'll make this area solitary cells. All right, so we'll have at least this part secured. This fence all the way around looks pretty good for now, uh, but we're gonna need additional fences, at least if they make a rope and they wanna go jump this fence or be near this tree. We should dismantle these trees actually because they can climb the trees. May not have known this, but prisoners can climb trees now. So let's get rid of those. 